Theologians have been speculating on whether a Catholic can in fact leave the church, whether that's actually a possibility. And yet, soon after I was ordained to the priesthood, Pope Benedict XVI issued an encyclical letter, very short, to the whole church. And he clarified this confusing theological point. And he said, it is not possible. If you are baptized Catholic or converted to Catholicism when you are older, you are now permanently Catholic. There is nothing that you can do to lose your Catholicism. Now, you could be a really bad Catholic. You could stop going to Mass and stop believing in God and go to hell when you die. Yes, okay, but you're still a damned Catholic. You know, that's all you are. But you can't stop being Catholic. You can't. And, and there's an easy way to picture this or understand this in your mind. All of you families, what if one of your children says, that's it, mom, dad, I disown you and the rest of the family. I'm changing my name legally. I'm doing everything in my power to no longer be your child, no longer be a member of this family. Will any of that actually work? Okay, maybe on a legal level, if they change their name and do such things. But could they ever possibly stop being your child? There's nothing that they can do. In fact, it's quite easy to prove that they are your child. Just get a blood sample, right? We can prove it. You see, there's nothing. Their, their intentions, their desires are irrelevant. Once they are born into your house, they remain in that house. And they may be a bad son or a bad daughter, but they're still a son or daughter. If that's true on a natural level, just with biology, it is even more true in the household of God, in the spiritual realm. It's even more true. You cannot leave the church. And what that means is you are subject to the laws and the authority of the church forever. Forever. 